Now, if that is not just awesome. That's why places like Gates of the Arctic National Park are worth protecting. here at the lakes at the Upper Alatna, um, the Upper Alatna drainage. And the Alatna is a south flowing river and over that hillside there um, is the Killick River which is a north flowing river and that's where we're going to head here later. I am currently floating on the Killick River in my pack raft and taking a few pictures with the point and shoot along the way. It is a gorgeous evening. It is currently 7.15 p.m. And uh, yeah, we're having a great trip. Uh, it's been beautiful. And yeah, it's about to hit the bank here, so I better turn this thing off. Well, I am here at the end of the second day, <clears throat> and I'm sitting on a bluff um, up above the Killick River, and the clouds have moved in for the first time in this trip. Um, and it's creating a little bit different, but the wind's also blowing a little bit, which is a mixed bag because it also is knocking down the mosquitoes. Um, the mosquitoes are pretty horrendous right now, um, but they are, the wind helps a bit. Um, but they're all over my feet, and they're right, right this, there. It's kind of all over, definitely to the point of being a little irritating. That's one of the drawbacks of, uh, of mid-July in the Brooks Range. I've uh, mostly just been walking and enjoying the landscape, which is really one of the most important things about being out here. Um, 
and uh, when the light comes, the camera comes out. When the light goes down, then uh, I just sit back and enjoy. So, uh, yeah, end of day two. I'm off to bed here shortly. Well, it is almost at the end of, well, not at the end, but uh, at the end of our traveling on day three. We are um, down into the Killick, um, almost to April Creek, and it is starting to rain a little bit. The river has been fast and shallow, which means a lot of scraping along the bottom with our boats. Um, and it's been gray and a little drizzly kind of during the day, and so I haven't taken too many photos. Um, not a particularly photogenic day, but it's been a fun day on the river for the most part. I could have done without some of the uh, some of the uh, scuffling along through the shallows of the boats, but, uh, but other than that, it's been pretty pleasant, some fun rapids, and um, looking forward to getting to camp. Oh, it is the beginning of day four, I guess, and it's another kind of overcast day. Um, I am here at the confluence of April Creek and the Killick River. It is a lovely spot. I wish we had a little bit more light, um, but uh, yeah, so start of the next day. We're going to paddle down towards Easter Creek today, and today will probably be our last day of paddling uh, before we begin the uh, trek over to Agiac Lake. Um, that'll be another four days or so of walking. So. A quite heavy rainstorm just moved through. Um, we were paddling along and rain just came pouring down for about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. We were in the boat, so it was no big deal, but there's something about post-storm light that's really hard to capture with a camera, um, but is quite lovely in person. And I don't even know if this comes out, but these mountains there right now, that green just seems like it's glowing. It's like it was fresh washed and um, but especially with a little point and shoot like I'm taking this video with, um, it's really hard to capture. I've buried my big camera deep, safe and dry in my backpack, so I don't really have access to it right now. But, um, but there's just something about that light. Um, maybe one day I will, uh, I'll learn how to, to grab it with a camera. Well, we have just deflated the boats and pulled out of the Killick River. And uh, it's been a rainy day on and off. It's not going to be there. The rain squall just went through. Kind of nasty. Um, but, uh, yep, there's the river. That's the last we will see of it. And, yeah, so uh, a little sad to deflate the boats because now we've got to carry our own packs. Well, we're at our uh, last camp, not last camp, we're at our camp for tonight. Um, and we are here, this is Tulalip Lake here behind me. Um, we're pretty close to the, uh, to Easter Creek. Um, and uh, tomorrow we will head up this direction, up Easter Creek, um, to a place called Sulawak Creek, where we'll cut off to the, um, uh, towards the east and uh, head over towards Agiac Lake. Um, it has just been kind of on and off rain all day long, which makes it a bit on the difficult side to photograph. Um, it's been a bit of a light show. There's been periodic um, rainbows and, and uh, god beams and things like that coming down. But uh, 
I've been on the river most of the day, so I haven't really gotten the camera out too much. A few shots with the point and shoot, um, but the big camera's mostly stayed safe and dry in the big bag. Um, but that's the day. Starting out on the fifth day in Gates of the Arctic National Park. And I'm still here at Tululik Lake behind me there is Tululik Lake. So that's where we stand right now. Today we're going to hike up um, several miles up the Easter Creek uh, to Salulik Creek. All right, well, I am uh, beginning our first real full day of walking. We started quite late, um, and now we are off up Easter Creek, and I'm being surrounded by mosquitoes, but I hadn't been until now because there was a nice wind blowing. Um, but yep, that's Easter Creek below me. That next valley up, up there is Siluac Creek, and that's where we're headed. Um, and we'll be in that valley for quite a while. It's a long valley. Yeah, now we're looking for a place to cross the river. We've got to get down and across that. There's a place right here, so we may try to cross right down there. It is the beginning of, what are we on? The fifth day? Sixth day? Can't remember. Um, it's the 18th of July. Um, and yeah, I'm standing here at the mouth of Suluac Creek. Right there is Suluac Creek joining Easter Creek. And I will be heading up that creek today. We're gonna hike oh, fairly, I don't know how many miles we'll pound out today, but um, a number. We've got quite a ways to go before we hit our final destination. and. Um, so that's the plan. It rained almost all night. Um, lots of lots of weather coming down. But if we woke up to sunshine this morning. It's actually pretty hot and calm. Um, and yeah, it should be a beautiful day. Looking forward to, uh, to getting out there and, and seeing what we find. Well, I am on my way, taking a break, on my way up the Sulawak Valley. Um, it has been a pretty tussocky walk. I'll try to get some video at some point of walking through tussocks. Um, it's uh, challenging, to say the least. Uh, this field coming up is long. It's probably at least a mile. I suspect we're going to aim down again towards the creek. Um, and it's probably a mile away, maybe a little more. And that field looks like it is mostly tussocks, which is not going to be particularly fun. Well, we're coming towards the end of the day, probably within a couple of miles of wherever we'll camp. Um, and we just came across this below me here, which is uh, off ice or overflow ice. And basically it's caused in the wintertime by um, 
water seeping up from a river and freezing on top and layer upon layer upon layer until it can get quite deep. Clearly it must get really deep here because it's July 18th and there is still three or four feet of ice in some places. Um, so pretty neat and also made for a nice easy quarter mile of walking on the ice. So I wish we could get a few more miles of that. It's a buggy and calm but beautiful evening. You can see behind me there the uh, these are just gloriously lit up right now. Um, it is 20 after 11 p.m. Um, and just a beautiful, beautiful evening. I can do without the hundreds of mosquitoes that are swarming about my head right now. So I just uh, stopped here to take a little break and wait for Al, who was uh, back behind me taking a couple of GPS points. And as I was standing here, I, something caught the corner of my eye and right over against this ridge line, uh, this uh, little bluff, uh, was the most immaculately white wolf, just 30 yards away, trot, trot, trotting along right there. So it came up over here and uh, uh, stopped and lifted his head up, sniffed me. Must have stood there for three or four minutes as I, you know, took some distant photos with the wrong lens that I don't have the right stuff for. Um, and uh, and then he trotted off up the hill. Probably my best ever wolf sighting. And pretty cool to be out here alone and have that happen. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Great start to the day. Turning into a pretty good wildlife day here in the Sulawak Valley. I just watched a caribou come down um, that hillside behind me down there and down into the creek. And right now I am watching a, I doubt you will be able to see these very well, but there is a cow moose with a calf. Uh, yeah, you can just kind of barely see it there walking down the creek, right through the middle of the creek. Considering the uh, landscape is largely covered up with clouds, it is nice to be having a, uh, a little bit of wildlife today for sure. Well, I've stopped here for a little break and I thought I would show you uh, what a awesome trail side treat looks like. So what we have here is pilot bread, about 100 calories per cracker. Um, they taste like cardboard alone. Peanut butter. Uh, I have to use these little single serving thingies. Um, and yep, perfect size. About, a, I don't know, 150 calories in that size thing. And honey. I generally prefer jam, but uh, honey is a little better for the weight um, and you need less of it to go further. Messy, tasty, and calorie rich. Mm. I always like these kind of points because the it gives you a perspective on how far I've come. Way down there is where is where we started, well, not even where we came to see where we started walking, but that's where we were the day before yesterday morning, way down at the far end of the valley. And uh, now, and now I'm up here, just a, uh, a couple miles, three miles or so from the, uh, from the very top of the valley. The creek has turned into just a fairly small little stream, um, and the gravel bars are huge. They're just gigantic gravel bars here, which makes uh, the walking pretty interesting. Uh, it actually makes it pretty easy in general. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so that's where I am right now, off by myself for a few hours. Uh, we had two uh, uh, juvenile, like three or four year old grizzlies come within a few hundred yards of camp last night. That was fun to watch. Although uh, with teenage bears, uh, they're always the ones that are a little more curious than you want them to be. All of these guys minded their manners and kept their distance and they were gone this morning. So always fun to see a little more pretty good wildlife day yesterday and uh, it's always fun to add some bears to the list. I'm here just probably inches below the actual summit of Sulak Pass and behind me there is one of the, the Headwater Lake and it is much, much bigger and more beautiful than I thought it was going to be from looking at the map. So that's kind of a pleasant surprise. Really wish we had some better light for photography. Um, some of the mountains here have beautiful big glacial cirques. There's one hiding right up there. There's a glacial cirque. And I would really have liked to have been able to get in there and get some photos, but so it goes. Um, and yeah, so this is uh, the Sulak Pass. Well, I'm off by myself here for a little while today, and I've been walking along this ridge below, um, or above one of the creeks that we're following down, and I came across this tributary, which from the map didn't look too big of a gully. It ended up being a couple of hundred feet climb and descent. Um, and I came to the top of that right over where you see those big, red, very steep, rocky portion, and, uh, but with great good fortune, just a few feet down from me were these perfect caribou trails going right, right down to the creek. It was like it had been made for me. So some of the, some of the uh, fun little things you discover when you're going cross country through the Brooks Range. Well, we just got a bit of nice photographic light. Um, some rain has been moving through and uh, apparently a patch of sun opened up, where though I'm not seeing it from here. It just created this beautiful rainbow. And the hills are lit up in just a great amount of uh, just a, a patchy sunlight and darkness and great contrast and color. Uh, so nice to have a little bit of photographic light. It's been so gray today. I'm here at the end of the second to last day, basically. Um, tomorrow will essentially be our last day, since we will probably get picked up pretty early the following day. And it was a rainy one today. Ended up walking most of the day in, uh, in rain. Uh, but we covered uh, eight miles as the crow flies and 10 or 11 or so as the, uh, as the hiker walks. And um, yeah, well, the evening has finally stopped raining and actually it's gotten pretty lovely. There's some fog hanging low over the mountains um, and uh, this, there's a, a, quite a bit of blue that's starting to appear. There's a little bit of color starting to come into the sky. So I'm out taking a few photos um, 
and we'll see what I get. Uh, I'm too tired to wander too far though, so uh, um, hopefully I can find the compositions I need here close to camp. I am here at the start of our final day of travel and woke up this morning to the first major amount of blue sky we'd seen in several days. Um, it gave us a chance to get everything spread out, dry the tents, dry our clothes, dry the rain gear from yesterday. Um, but now, of course, the clouds have decided to move back in. Um, but it doesn't look like there's too much rain in them, at least I hope not. But we are camped in a lovely, big, beautiful valley where three tributaries come together, creating a big, wide, open area. Um, surrounded by tall mountains, and we're camped along Agiakiak Creek, um, and we will be hiking up that creek for a mile or so, then crossing over a short pass and dropping into a Michurak Lake. Um, it's about six miles as the crow flies, so I suspect we'll be walking for seven or eight or so. Well, I am here at the top of the final pass of the trek. I'm about two miles from Amaloyak or Amitrak Lake. Um, it's spelled Amaloyak, it's pronounced Amitrak Lake. Um, and that'll be where we end the trip. So it's a little, it's a little sad actually sitting up here, um, but it's a beautiful day. There is mostly clouds, but there's some patches of sun coming through. There's a nice breeze blowing, keeping the bugs down. Quite lovely to sit here on the tundra with my back against my pack and listen to the wind. Well, that's it. I have arrived at the final camp here on Amitrak Lake, and it is a beautiful spot. Um, quite lovely with mountains and big lake. It's a couple of miles long, and it's pretty spectacular. Um, yep, it's great to be here. At the same time, it's always a little sad when you get to one of these end of this. At the beginning, 10 days sounds like a long time. Um, it sounds like you're gonna be out there forever, and you're gonna have all the time to do everything you want and it turns out the 10 days is never long enough. Um, but it was great while it lasted. Tomorrow morning, with uh, assuming good weather, a float plane will arrive here on the lake, pick us up, and hurdle us back towards civilization.